40 towers. Ukraine. Ukraine towers. We're joking on account of the other fellow, Puccini. Puccini, because he's bred Russia. Oh, that's not. Mock the poor guy. They say they're intelligent. There's children of four, five, 29 in some cases. Uh, and so maybe he gets it. And he who knows what he can do. Start the war. Communication problems. <laughs> Best cities ever. So, yeah. uh, there's this client, a woman who comes with. <laughs> what? She doesn't need it. She's, once in a while she's using her hearing aid, but then, uh, as it happens, uh, it seems she's speculating on what she doesn't want to hear. <laughs> 40 also uh, <laughs> sees where this is going, and then at one point, when she has it high, volume, he makes her, in fact, put the phone by whispering or saying, I said that outside. What? What did you say? I said. <laughs> so when it's turned to maximum, he yells in, in the um, microphone, whatever. <laughs> so provoking the shot. Um, this gives birth, birth to um, communication CK what? She has a dial with Manuel. He doesn't get what she wants. He... So it's CK what? C. What? K. CK. K. Balsa! Ukraine. Um, so <laughs> She has a vase, the vase gets broken, 70 pounds, you know, and 40 has a, a, a bet on a horse, which is against the rules. Civil uh, wife uh, doesn't allow that. And well, so many things and that. That's a pretty, such a <laughs> nasty piece of work. <laughs> he wins on a horse, but he cannot get the money for them. He has to hide it like a Russian oligarch. Well, placing it now with sanctions um, uh, on, on on other markets. But so he, he, he talks with Paul. Uh, Connie Booth, was it? The wife of John Cleese in real life at the time. And they worked together on the speech. Uh, so, um, at one point, she has the money. Ah, how do you have this much money in your hand? Uh, Paul Sibyl asked. I want one horse. Really? One horse? She's seeing some, <laughs> something rotten in the state of Denmark, something fish. And Basil is behind his wife, trying to <laughs> tell her. Sign language. <laughs> uh, a magpie. The magpie. Uh, drag, drag, dragon. Fly. <laughs> dragon. Dragon horse. Dragon. <laughs> so that's just. It's it's uh, an abundance of uh, hilarious, fantastic jokes and I remember. Uh, seen this well a few times uh, in 2000. Surely you'll see this again uh, at the British Library. British Library in 1987, 1988. Ooh, a long time ago. Uh, but, well, I'm not 60. And anyway, 60 is the new 30s or 20s. Um, and um, it was on the same premise with the embassy, so you had to give the identity card to the gate for the policeman, put you down in the black book, the book of KGB or something. But it was fantastic, it was I'm grateful. <clears throat> and I'm pro British, that's, that's also true. See, care what? I know nothing. 
Manuel is kicked because he uh, forty told him also nothing about the money, nothing. You don't you don't know anything. If Sibo anybody ask him. So when Basil comes because the money comes somehow passes to Manuel. Money, I know nothing. Uh, Andrew says, splendid, splendid, stupendous, glorious.